Jan Henrik, walk me through what we've learned in the last few hours. Yeah, pretty interesting story, um, and it has certainly an er ironic element to it. All investment banks have been waiting for in recent months and years is the return of volatility. Now volatility is coming back to the markets, and the first product is blowing up. This was a Credit Suisse exchange traded note. We have reported earlier that they would consider buying it back um, because of the rise in volatility, so this was a bet against volatility. Now the bank has been coming out saying and confirming look, um, we are going to buy back this note in the next uh, two weeks. Um, and, you know, the implication of that is that investors will lose money, uh, at least a big chunk of their initial investment um, on this note. Credit Suisse is, uh, itself assured or reassured markets earlier that they, because they are holding um, a chunk of that, won't suffer losses uh, due to that um, p position in trade. Jan Herrick, at this point, we have to take Credit Suisse on their word. The stock's still down as Swiss trading by around about four percentage points. The thing I'm trying to get my head around, my hands around throughout much of this morning, is just how big the short vol trade actually was and still is, and how much of it has been covered. Jan Herrick, as you look at the situation with this particular exchange traded note, how, many, how much money was in this? How big were the assets? How much exposure was there to this exchange traded note? Yeah, it's a good, it's a good question. I, I've been looking at the data earlier. I think it was about 1.6 billion. That was um, the market cap of um, of that note. Um, I haven't had this number confirmed. It was certainly a very popular note. I mean, given the volatility situation and the fact that some investors were hedging. Um, but but you know, th this is a ballpark which gives you an indication um, on the losses. Uh, I think we have to take uh, the bank by its word. There were reports earlier suggesting 500 million loss. The bank denied it and said, look, we are not uh, suffering losses from it. But it was certainly a big product. Maybe in the grand scheme of things, um, th there might be uh, bigger products out there. But obviously, there were a lot of bets around uh, volatility um, and how it's you know, going to develop.